What are you going to do? Mind control, I think. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I think we need to do a command here. I think Bark needs to run there. Elatan command him after taking a shot. Okay, Bark, sprint. Hello. Yeah, that's fine. You can't see him. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, this is about to get bad. Okay, well then, disable shot him. Who's got CCS? The mech. If he charges the mech, the mech could kill him. I didn't think of that. The events in this video are fictional as the characters portrayed with him. In the similarities to anyone living or dead are merely coincidental and have been created at random by XCOM's name generator. Seriously. It's always heavy floaters, isn't it? Always heavy floaters. Larry, you could go to here. Oh, well, 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 no, you can't. There are at least two contacts there. Three, I think. So where he is, behind, there are two more heavy floaters. I thought they were much further back. I think there is one much further back. So one, two, three, four, five. Then six and seven, I think, are further back. I was almost tempted to bring Larry to here, close encounters him, then run around here, but that would be a very bad idea. Unless Larry goes to there, close encounters, and we can somehow kill him? Don't know yet? At that point, Larry can then move and see us. Assuming we can still kill him, which, <laughs> heavy floaters, every, <sighs> it's gotta be heavy floaters, doesn't it? Got to be heavy floaters. Bark, I am tempted to just sprint you down there. You'd have to eat an overwatch. In fact, maybe there. You'd have to eat an overwatch, but you'd be so close to flame everyone. Yeah, do it. You've got attack sense, that's something. Body shield. Although, when they fly up, they're going to be point blank with high ground. Do it. Moving out. Chance to hit. 43. Please miss. We need this. That's a hit. That's, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. Although, he should have damage control now. So, Crimson, where do you go? You could go here. I don't know if you'll have an angle though. I want you to get Lone Wolf. Mark, you can only shoot him. Which at this point, I'm honestly thinking of just suppressing you. Crimson. No shots. That would be exceptionally bad. Elatan, you have one shot. <laughs> a 30, right. Definitely light him up, yes? Yes, light him up. Take your 130. Wow, you hit. Decent damage as well. Mark, 244s, and if you shoot once, you can't suppress because it's double tap, not light him up. Uh, can you see him from there? Oh, piss off. Oh, that's so bad. TK will not reach him. We don't have a mine merge, and Elton, you can't see him from there to command. And on top of that, Larry, you can see that guy. So even if you came here, close encounter to him, Bark somehow managed to hit one of his two, possibly even both, 44 to hit to kill him, and then he couldn't see you, and you could conceal somewhere else. You can't do that anyway. Of which world you can seal to, like here. It's gotta be heavy floaters, doesn't it? Every time with the heavy floaters, Crimson, should you run and gun to get an angle? That'll mean you won't be in range to do a side flashbang, assuming they land, which I don't think they will. Or should you just charge forwards, which you can't even charge forwards? If you run and gun back and shoot with a 50, it's possible Dante could kill him, but we won't have your grenade for the following turn. Oh, do it. Go there. Decision confirmed. No lone wolf either, unless, Mark, you moved somewhere else to do a suppress, which I can't trust it because we can't see line of sight to an extended range. So, 56. Come on, man. Come on. Good. Actually pretty good. Pretty damn good. Well done, Crimson. One down. Six to go. Taken care of. Then, we've got a 90 on you because I've been in the zone. And a crit. Okay, okay. I'm working with something here. Larry, you could go there close encounters and kill him, but seeing as if he's on such low health, we should just take 244s. Unfortunately, that means no double tap for next turn. God, they could move up, they could grenade, they could kill somebody. Oh my god. Heavy floaters every time. 244s. Oh, thank god. Out and of it the shouldn't game. trigger double tap? It shouldn't have triggered double tap, so we should have next turn. Thank god. Oh. Okay, we can go here, but if a floater charges up, they'll see him. And also, I hate this high ground. It's so low, the floaters only have to go here to see him. That sucks. He's gonna get destroyed there. There's not really another good place to go. Here, maybe? I want to be relatively close for a close encounters. Yeah, go there. I don't think they'd be in range to flank. At least they will be with a dash, but not with a normal move. Huh, he says. I'm pretty sure they're right there. Um, go there. Moving. Elatan, I think go here. I think that still might be out of range for your Legia Pasta Nostra, or your lead by example, should I say. And then Guts, right. I would like your Overwatch. That'd be nice. Here, maybe. Go there and hunker. Trees are more resilient than this cover. Yeah, go there. It might be rocket time. 
You can have an odd angle, but you might be able to get something. Yeah, it is an odd angle. Yeah, Ella Tan fall back here. We can't risk that cub getting destroyed. Yes, and you guys hunker. In fact, Thin Man, you can't really be here. If these guys get grenade spammed, you're going to die. Yeah, that's going to have to do. Nice work, Crimson, on that 50. Just because that 50, Dante could kill him in the zone him, shoot him, and give Mark a chance to kill him. So five heavy floaters, two mutant elites. Everybody hunker. Except for Larry. Which, honestly, you should hunker, because if they come around and reveal you, I'd rather you be hunkered for the rest. Yeah, they're probably just going to completely annihilate Bark. Please, CCS. Uh, Mutant Elite. Of course. Of course they're moving up now. Of course. Yeah. <gasps> now they've got reinforcements from Heavy Floaters. Yeah, hello. Or not. Right, because we broke line of sight with them, so their AI got a bit wonky. No close encounters, but should I just one for all? You kind of need it. Mutant Elite, probably. Another thing? Mutant Elite, maybe? Heavy floaters? Not sure. Yes, I think we should shoot. It's much better to break their line of sight. <laughs> What? Destroy it. Right, of course, you're the leader. That means close encounters. Thank God. Thank God that was a dash. I was actually thinking that one of you guys might have close encounters. And heat ammo. Cool. That's cool. But no tax sense. How? Oh, enemy defense, 14. Of course, yeah. Mark, you're out of range, aren't you? No, you're not. Good. Question is, go there or go here? You can still see him there, apparently. I assume it's taken into account that you're a mech. Yes, I think go there. Although I'd like to know where the other floaters are. I think. Lucas, you're too far back from motion track to be helpful, maybe? I'll do it anyway. It's important. There, they're gone. Because we can see up that meld and further back. Yeah, although going here means that one person can move up to like here, get vision of him and then shoot. But as we've seen, it's more important, Moving much more important, to, to get the kill. 74 and break line of sight. Ah, uh, okay. No damage on selected target. Yeah, that, that was a definitely a no damage on target. No close encounters, but we could run there and shred him. How much health you got, Larry? Better than most, but not a huge amount. There are two targets here, which I think are the mutant elites, so they can't fly up. Yes, do it. Break line of sight. Whoa, hello, you're there. 100 and shred. Nice. Who needs ammo most? I bet it's Dante, isn't it? Yes, Dante. So you need to get the kill because you can in the zone and then reload. So Mark, 79. Good, brilliant. That was double tap? Did we not see them last turn? Oh, right, because Mark shot once, so we still have double tap. That's annoying. Well, let's not use it and hopefully we'll have a next turn. And Dante, you can kill him, 100. Start and then we load, all here. thanks to in the zone. It's Brilliant. Just in time for double tap next turn. Larry, you're in a dangerous position there. Oh, it will use double tap. Damn, that's annoying. Well, hunker. You can't do anything. Crimson, you overwatch. overwatch. You guys overwatch as well. Please don't kill Larry. <gasps> oh, that's bad. That's what I was worried about. He may not be able to see Larry, but he probably can. Okay, well, we have overwatches. If we can kill that floater, he won't have vision of... Oh, he doesn't have vision of Larry anyway. Okay, cool. Yeah, Larry, if he wanted to, could just sprint back right now. Because no one will see him, he'll close straight away. If we want to. Yes, one more motion track. Oh, here they come. Okay, so heavy floater, mutant elite, mutant elite, which are these three. So yeah, four mutant elites, that's everything. So they might be able to get into blue move range and shoot Bark. In that case, I'll probably have him come around here. Yeah, but you can still see him there anyway, can't he? No, we can't. Hmm. Stay there and shoot and kill him? Yeah, I think that's better. We got double taps on Dante. Yeah, do it. 60. Right. Come on, buddy. <laughs> these are the ones we need. You know, it's not Shot like we didn't wide. need the, the side disc ones as well. Oh, you can't see the heavy floater. Move back to here. Probably get a shot. Mark, you have double tap. Good. We didn't use it last turn. Brilliant. So you got two shots on him. Two... No, let's save you in case we want to suppress that muton. Which I don't really know why we would, because I'm pretty sure the other floaters are coming right now. Crimson, go there. That's 66. Come on, buddy. You've done good. You've done good. Make it count. Looks good. Brilliant. Minimal damage, but brilliant. Larry, you have jumpy legs. Jumpy legs, close encounters. Don't have lightning reflexes, though. And in that case, Dante, I don't think you're going to get killed. 36 to crit. That means, Mark, we do need a shot on him. Do what you can, 79. Excellent. Is that going to be a kill, though? Well, either way, Dante got double tap. So, boop him. If it's not a kill, he got double tap. Not kill, that's what I thought. Had a feeling. But this, on the other hand, will be a kill. Excellent. Styles pacified. 
Might as well take a shot on Mutant Elite, 84, unless... Do I really want to shred you with Larry? With three heavy floaters right here. Yeah, it's not worth it. I think you have to sprint up to here. Yeah. Um, but if we use our double taps now, we won't have them for next turn. But we may not have them for next turn anyway, because using double tap is finicky. I'd rather keep the double taps for the heavy floaters. Although Bark's right here. He could flame them. And if that fails, flame them again with command. Yeah, do it. 84. Ooh, miss. Okay. Missed. Yep, missed. Mark? Uh, 38. I mean, yeah, sure, double tap. Oh, okay. Well, that was a hit. Larry, you need to sprint to there. Correct. No one can see you. No one's flanking you. That's full cover. Running. Conceal. Ignore the overwatch. Okay. Guts, I want to keep you there for a juicy rocket. Definitely is juicy. But I am worried. I'm pretty sure from here they could bombard grenade you. I think Bart's going to be a much juicier target. And the tree is pretty sturdy. Hunker. Elatan reload. And that's it, you guys, Overwatch. Yeah, nice work, Crimson. Hitting some clutch 50s. That might be a dash. That probably isn't. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, Rekty Dogon says 50, yes. Do it. Make that perk good. No, perk's still crap. <laughs> oh, God, it's funny. All right. Can't see the last floater, but can we flame you guys? Um, no. One or the other. Literally. Just one or the other. That's all we got. Cool. That, that's fine. Yeah, that's... that's. Oh, hold on. Mm, should we? We won't have a lot of targeting. Yes, do it. And there's no point to shield either. Yeah, do it. Initiating flame power Actually, flame assault. Though. I ignored him! I didn't even panic him. Did it? No, it didn't. <laughs> oh, man! Yeah, I would say that's not ideal. You can suppress him, but you can already see Bark, so what difference does it make? Rocket time, maybe? Oh, you're in low cover. Hmm, interesting. Wait, you're not flying? Is that right? No, you're not. Okay. Dante. Oh, you only see him. Damn. Crimson. Yeah, you only see him as well, but you can move and shoot to here. Mark. Yep, you only see him. Well... Chance to hit's gonna be pretty low. Yeah, I think you take it. This is what I'm worried about. Heavy floaters. It's only on one, but Crimson could kill you. He is landed. Please don't hit Bark. Cool. That's alright. Didn't get rid of that cover though. Crimson, go here. Ooh, what? Okay, good. 86, 68 to crit. Come on, buddy, come on. Oh, thank God, yes. That's my problem. Awesome. That leaves you, and you're actually in cover, aren't you? Or are you flying? No, you're flying, okay. And no double tap. So two heavy floaters, two mutant elites. Mark no double tap either, nope. Although you got lone wolf, nice. Finally comes in handy. 79, 14 to crit. Oh, you hit him. Dante, no double tap. If we can get somebody else to hit you, how though? Elatan from there, when we've got another heavy floater and two mutant elites, that is dangerous. And honestly, there could be a mutant elite here that we can't see. Larry could charge up. That would certainly kill him. But what about the other floater? You could get one shot. And if it's a run and gun, we can't command you either. And Elatan, yeah, if you go there, there could be an overwatch. Lucas, you know what? You go there. Okay, good. No mutant elite. You could collateral damage him. Barely. Yeah. <laughs> That's me tricky. But yeah, you can. Could you survive two mutant elites and a heavy floater? That's doubtful. Worst case. If I really don't want to risk that, Elatan can go here and command Lucas. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, there. Good. Good. Flatful damage. Do that T-pose. Done. Brilliant. Dante, kill him in the zone. Reload. Done. Excellent. Reload. Nice work. Very, very nice work. Elatan, go here and command Lucas. Against two mutant elites and heavy floater, he could absolutely die. There's no point taking the risk. Okay. Done. Nice work, everyone. Hello. Are you just gonna shoot from there? God, I love a capture. Could we get a capture? No CCS, come on. Okay, well, any way to flame all you guys? Probably have to go here, right? If I can get a panic on one of you guys, I could try a capture. I'd have to go here though, wouldn't I? There is one more mutant elite, but he there's no way he'd be able to kill you. Go there, okay. yeah, do it. Flame both of them. Nice. The other mutant elite, is he here? He doesn't seem to be. Maybe he's run off, not sure. Either way, flame both of them. Try get a panic on both. Or one of them is Good. Panicked. Not you? No? Yes, you. Brilliant. 
Excellent. So who do we capture? We got two chances. I'd much prefer the mutant elite. So I guess we just run and gun here and shoot you. Oh, we can't use run and gun. Ha. Huh. Well, I mean, screw it. Double tap me. 279s. Boop him. Or not. Wow, that's impressive. Ammo here. That is impressive. Crimson, do you want to do the honors? If you can get an angle, go there. Hang on. 56, or should I charge you up? I kinda need your grenades at this point. One mutant elite is not gonna kill Elatan. Unless he's flanked all the way around, he can go here. Actually, no, that wouldn't be a flank either. Guts, maybe? No, Elatan. First Larry, run up to there. Is there a way to climb up here? Yeah, there. In that case, ooh, there's no cover up there. Yeah, go here, Larry, go. Or kill him first, then move up. Elatan. On it. Dead eye, 71. <laughs> all the heavy floaters oh, down. Yeah. Larry run up, we've got one mutant elite live, the other one panicking. Brilliant. Crimson, yeah, you move up as well. I want to use Rubbing your out. grenades, your chems. Maybe we can get two mutant elites. I need those heavy weapons. Though frankly, I need more normal alien rifles than heavy weapons. Alien rifles, I think we need ten. Heavy weapons, I think we need seven, I think. Okay. Yeah, panicked. Hello. What are you going to do? You can shoot me from there? Go for it. CCS. Yes, brilliant. Hello. Beautiful. I'll need a resupply soon. And oh, okay, you might just be dead. Good hit. Yeah, you might just be dead. Unless you stop right there. Okay. Nice. So the mutant elite is here somewhere. There, I think. So let's go stand over him and just look On down. Hello. Still panicked? Good. We need pistols. Maybe even a chem. Elatan, use one pistol. Actually, Larry, your close encounters as well. Go there. Close encounters with a pistol. How much damage is that going to do? Crit. Good. Elatan, with your pistol. Definitely shouldn't be a kill. Oh, hmm. We need one more damage. Mind frame, maybe? Go Position there. Confirmed. Then, Lucas. Can you science by both? Yes. Who's got more will? 75 and 75. So yeah, Elatan's giving the ball to Crimson. How much to mind frame? 53. We could probably get that to a 73. Science inspiration. Three. Then, mind fray. How much? 83. Nice. Gives 30 will. Brilliant. There you go. Now you're in the three health range. Now, Lowry, can we bring home a heavy muton? Or muton elite heavy muton? Oh man! It's still up target. Hoping to get two. Off. Well, we only have two arc throws, so. Oh, no command. I didn't think of that. Well, Elatan, shoot him. If you can deal two damage, then the thin man can poison him. Or just kill him with a pistol. Muton elite. Okay. Well, let's hope you don't move, because you're the next target. Hunker, reload. Dante, move. In fact, everybody move up. And also, Thin Man, you could chem him, but I don't want to because if he stays panicked, he won't take any damage from the chem, and it'll just waste the turns that he's chemmed. And if he breaks panic, he could actually shoot you and kill you, even while chemmed. So just hunk up. Still panicked, brilliant. Okay, well, I guess it's now or never. Who can get shots? Oh yeah, he's got a hell of a lot of health. Okay, then Thin Man. Yes, I want you to shoot him. I really doubt you're going to deal 12 damage, although you can't see him from there. No? Yes. Okay, go there. We only have one arc throw, so we only get one chance anyway. Boop him. 81. Oh, come on, man. Ah, blaster rifle could kill, but I think that is a risk we have to take. Yeah, blue move there. Yeah, I, I'm definitely completely concealed. You're, you're, you see nothing. Guts, I think we have to risk it and try get a shot. Ideally into cover, but that chance to hit is going to be horrible. Crimson, you've got a running gun. Again, same thing applies. Or well, if he moves, we're going to CCS him and kill him. Although, there's an idea. Crimson could, finally making use of his grenades, could flashbang him. Yeah, that's all we got, really. Yeah, I think that's all we got. Larry, you can pistol shot him. 180 to crit. All right, 80 from concealment. Four damage crit, okay. Then you can go hide behind Bark. Then Crimson could move up and flashbang him. So go there. Flashbang has more of a debuff than Gas Grenade. So hopefully he'll be less inclined to do something stupid. Chance to capture right now. 20. All oh, right, you got two medkits because Field Medic and Packmaster. Nice. Yeah, Larry, go there. Please stay panicked. And you guys just get running. 
All right, here we go. If you break panic, we got two CCSs looking right at you. You have to move to flank somebody and you're flashbanged. Let's do this. In fact, do I want to kill you? Oh, we can't change weapon. And you've already got pistol selected. Yeah, here we go. Still panic, brilliant. Elatan, you see him, right? Yep. Pistol shot him, although he's in full cover. If it's just one shot, you might as well come around and flank him. Go there. Pistol, 91. 91, wow, for that range. Three damage, good. We could deal five damage and kill him. But a run and gun pistol. Yeah, you guys move out of the way. Crimson's coming in for the win. Pistol, run and gun. Just drop down right in front of him. Heading out. Just so he knows who it is. Hi, 100. Brilliant. Now, Larry, if you could please bring us home a mutant elite and a heavy weapon. Aye, aye. Heavy oh, for sake. The stun didn't work. Oh. Mark, your gunnery sergeant. Lucas, you're not. Off. I know we didn't come here to capture, but both the missing. God, that sucks. Sectoids, that's where the command one is. Too bad we don't have any arc throwers. Larry, can you make that? Yes, you can. You just sprint up, buddy. Pretty sure there are no pods left. Okay. Actually, I should have used your motion tracker. Yeah, we can't really move up after you until we do that. Okay, fast forward. Okay. Quite a big pod as well. Are you here? Yeah, a diagonal. I think you're out there. Actually, we have battle scanners. Crimson. God, you're so utility, Crimson. Sniping, sigh, pistol, grenades, battle scanners. Move up way. and then battle scan. Throw it over there. I want to make sure they're not on the outside of the ship. Yes. Yes, they are. I know it doesn't make much difference now, but I didn't really want to put Larry there and get him stuck. What we got? Four outsiders, two sectoid commanders. And how do we do this? Snipers, you can go here. Snipers. Sniper, you can go here. Crimson, you, you need to be a bit closer. Although Psy flashbangs will do nothing to the sectoid commanders, as we've learned. Bark, you're out of flamethrower. You know what, we'll just move up for now. I don't like splitting up these soldiers when we're about to trigger. Because as I mentioned, they will split. They'll, they'll move back instead. Say, for example, we just trigger from here. Well, there's actually no cover to move up to. But say there was cover, if we triggered here, they'll just move up to the cover there. But if we surrounded them, say from like this side and this side, they will run back this way to not get flanked. Because they'll immediately know where all our forces are. But even so, I think it is better for Bark to get in here. Which also means, with the battle scanner about to die, Larry, you're going to have to go there anyway to keep vision of them. So yes, go there. Bark, move up, and with vision of them, we'll be able to see a line of sight to be able to carefully move around here without triggering to get as close as possible. So yeah, there, obviously, we trigger here. No, we don't trigger there, really? Well, either way, I say go there. I hope we don't trigger. Good, 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 good. Okay, Lucas. And in fact, just everybody move up. And we're in position. In fact, tick over. A steady Dante, the only person that won't be moving. And then tick over. Okay, well, actually also, before we do this, heal up Bark. Something, something, baby. And yeah, steady again. So now who triggers? Whoever triggers isn't going to be flanking anyone. You know what? Maybe Dante should trigger. Sector commander, sector commander, normal sector commanders. Yeah, nobody's leader. Let's go for you. 86 to crit. Nice. So where you guys gonna go? Yeah, I was worried about that. Watch and that. Coming in from the sides. Aha. Who are you flanking? You're flanking him? Yeah, apparently. So if we can take care of all the sectoid commanders, the outsiders aren't really gonna be able to do much. Larry got jumpy legs, so we can get that outsider. So does Guts actually. Jumpy legs. So where would he be? He could have actually jumped all the way back, couldn't he? Do we have a motion tracker? No, we don't. We actually use all of them. Bark, you can go here and punch him. Mark, you can run and gun here and kill him within the zone, hopefully. Then take a shot at him. It's not like the outsider on the roof is going to be able to get all the way around and into here to flank us. You know what, Larry? Um, I mean, if you do this, buddy, we're going to waste your turn when you could get a flank on him. Guts instead, maybe? Jumpy legs? Yeah, because we're missing two outsiders. I'm not sure where the other one went. One went to the roof. I think one went back here. Okay, well, Guts, you can see the outside from here. So if this is a bust, we can target him. Got there. On my way. He is up here. That's cover. You. 
Oh, you! That's a waste. Though Dante, yeah, you see him as well. We're not be able to do all the damage to kill him though. Unless Crimson, <laughs> you just run and gun as far as you can. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to get an angle. I mean, Larry, you could run and gun there and point blank him, but that means we'd have to deal with all of these. One outsider, I don't think will kill you. We'd have to deal with everybody else. Okay, well, Bark, get around here. Punch is what? 12. Shoot is what? 10. But I think it could do more damage with a crit. Yeah, try it. Well, that's fine. Run and gun. We could still cloak. If I run and gun, I can't cloak you. The idea is go there, kill him, then shoot one of these guys. Assuming you'll have an angle, probably at him. Do it. So, kill him in the zone. Ooh. Wow, that's some um, pretty crap damage. Hey, Thin Man, do you want to do some cleanup? Get around here. Kill him, please. There you go. He managed to crit. Another 20 XP for guts. And then to flank you, we need to be here. We can't get there, though. We can only get there. I suppose you could go there. Mm, collateral damage him. Go there. What have we got? Collateral damage there. Can't collateral damage him. Yeah, because stupid angle. And yeah, there's the last outsider. Okay, good. Yeah, then collateral damage him. Hopefully deal some hefty damage so that Dante can in the zone him. Yeah, that's not being in the zone. It could be in the zone, but it also might not be. Elatan, if you shoot him, you can't move and command somebody. You can only command somebody from where you are. Larry, if you run and gun to there, Dante be able to kill him, no doubt. And Elatan, yeah, I think. Try your first shot. 81. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, maybe not. I thought you were using a pistol. Yes, it doesn't make any difference. Crimson can do it. Yeah, try it. No point in flashbanging you guys because you two are immune. Could have chemmed you two maybe, but I think they're resistant to chem. <laughs> yes, the outsiders are resistant to chem and the sector commanders are immune to the side flashbang. Anyway, 81. Done. Okay, Dante, if you would please, boop him. Done. He's down. Who else are you flanking? Not him, not him, not him, but him. And for that, Larry can run and gun to there. Point blank, huge damage, shredded. Dante can probably kill him. If he can't, Larry might die. But worst case, Guts also has a flush, 99. From there, Dante could then take his last shot at that sector commander and probably kill him. That'll leave one sector commander, one outsider, which that I'm happy with. One commander at this point, we can wreck him. So Larry has to be a flank, doesn't it? Has to go there. Run and gun to man. Make this count to there. Not the pistol, thank god. Thank god I noticed. Shotgun. Boop him, please crit. Uh, not an amazing crit. Yeah, uh, okay. Then, please in the zone him. Thank god. Crit and crit. Brilliant. Got him. Okay, well, try boop you with an 84. Brilliant. Nice work, Dante. I'm about to start keeping dry on ammo. Okay. Guts, you don't have a huge amount of health. Larry can take a shot from an outsider, but Guts, I don't really trust that you could. Run down here? Yes, yeah, so what you got, really? Yeah, do it. Go there. Will do. Nice. All kind of worked out-ish in the end. And Elatan, uh, just Overwatch. I feel, Commander. What are you guys going to do? Moving up, Overwatch, maybe? No Overwatch. You can see Elatan. What are you going to do? Mind control, I think. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. An outsider. Ooh. Oh, there's cover there, you son of a... Oh, my God. I didn't realise there was cover there. Man, the cover on the top of the ship is so janky. Well, go here. Close encounter to you. Dante, I have a feeling that's not a flank. It is a flank. Apparently, it's a flank. Awesome. Let's do that trick again. Go there. Close encounters. Please quick. Perfect. Dante, I think you're out of ammo now, though. Yeah, one shot. Damn. We can shoot and reload. If you kill. Wow. Okay. My weapon's spent. And we don't have jumpy legs on guts anymore because it's one turn cooldown. If I punch a tree, will it break? If a tree falls down in the woods and there's no one around to hear it, does it make a noise? Yes, yes it does. Yeah, I think we need to do a command here. I think Bark needs to run there, punch the tree, hope it breaks, which I'm pretty sure it should. Elatan command him after taking a shot. Oh no, it has to be before, doesn't it? Okay, Bark, sprint. Already there. Hello. Elatan, if you want your shot, because command, I'm pretty sure, uses half an action, unless it's the second action, you need to take your shot now with the 25 U. 
Yeah, that's fine. Negative damage. You can't see him. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, this is about to get bad. This is about to get bad. He's got a med kit, so he's resistant to acid. Mind phrase 48. I guess Mark, you could fall back and cloak with Thin Man. Crimson, we've got a chem and Larry. One health. Kind of worried about... Oh, crap. Yeah, Larry, you can't do that. Because Lucas has hit and run. He can come out here, shoot you, then shoot you again and kill you. Assuming the first shot doesn't kill you. I think. I don't know how good a shot this is going to be. Crimson. Run to there. Good. Shots on both. 61 to please kill him. It's not a kill, is it? Is it? Oh, thank God. Whoa, that gun. Cool. Do you have jumpy legs? Pretty sure you don't, Lucas. Okay. 30 on him. I suppose we could try the saving shot. Oh, but Dante's out of ammo, isn't he? Go there, what's the chance of the saving shot? How much the saving shot our own? Sacrilege. 96. Will it crit? It can't crit. Okay, well then, disabling shot him. He's wounded now. But you can still do a hit and run pistol. And it is a laser pistol. Who's got CCS? The mech. Crap, the mech could kill him. And Larry. Oh, damn it. If he charges the mech, the mech could kill him. I didn't think of that. Oh, that's bad. He might do. Oh. Yeah, if he charges the mech, the mech could kill him. That is terrifying. Mind Fray 48. Acid. You have or had a medkit. Yeah, we should acid you. If the effects of medkit are still there, then at least it will decrease your aim. And if they're not there, it will decrease your movement, even at the cost of two health, which I'd rather that. And here, we can cloak these two. So yeah, all because we couldn't kill you. I knew a mind control was possible, but I figured punching the tree, Dante killing this guy, which he didn't, would leave this guy completely wrecked. So, totally human. Acid him. Get booped. Are you resistant? Don't know. We'll find out. Then, don't know if you can cloak aliens. If you can't, you're dead, totally human. Cloak you two. Yeah, you can, good. Cloak Thin Man. Elatan might as well just take you free shot. 25. Yeah, cool. And then Larry, the you target. need to run. Lucas, you've got terrible mobility, don't you? Honestly, just here. Although I'd rather not get injured by the Sectoral Commander. You can't jump down here. The Sectoral Commander can still see you there, yeah? Screw it, just go there. Heading out. Uh, yeah. Can you see him? What are you going to do? Please don't charge the mech. You can see him? Son of a... One pop pip of damage. Damn. Okay, well, still no running gun, but could you please eat... Roger that. Going in. Good. And light my punch fist means I will shoot you now. Thank you. God, poor Lucas. Elatan, you now don't see him. Move Copy up. That. We guarantee to kill here. No, we're not. Dante's out of ammo. Crimson? No, don't shoot Lucas. Shoot him. 90. Dead. That was fun. Hostiles down. Another day, another successful operation. That could have been an ambush. 40 aliens on a raider. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was an ambush. Oh, man, that was rough. It was going okay until the end there. I thought we could deal with that last sectoral commander, no problems if we had a command. But I tried to take that free shot with Elatan, not realizing she didn't have vision of Bark. I should have checked first. God, that sucks. Larry's wounded one pip. Lucas is wounded like three. But you know what? Nobody died, including the thin man. That means we get the Sosme lip bonus. So important. And no captures, that is annoying. Larry's out for eight days, which isn't much more than fatigue, but it means we can't double dip him if we wanted to, which I didn't. Mm. Larry, I think you want to come on the exotic mission. Oh well, guess you're not coming on that. Bark, Bark got wounded? I knew he took damage, but did it go into his health? Oh no, we double dipped you. Yeah, you went on last mission. You're out for 10 days, not bad at all. Even though you're only fatigued for like two, I think. Crimson, double dipped to you. You're out for nine days. Again, that's not terrible. It's not like 14 or 21 days. And Lucas, you didn't get wounded. Oh my God. Hey, nice work, Guts, that disabling shot. You disabled his weapon and didn't wound him. Nice work. Elatan, I think these are your officer perks? No, you did level up. These are your officer perks, but now the decision. Regen Biofield, no. Size Strike or Pack Master? Because you're quite a shooty class, that means you're probably going to have one inventory space as scope. You know what we'll talk about this when we, when we sort out our perks. 
Lucas, like to be alive. Spirit calls, boring. Although for a scout, hmm. Danger zone doesn't apply to you. Will to survive or a spirit corpse. Plus five will, plus five defense. What are you trying to say, Lucas? Plus five will. Kind of tempted to go for that because you're the one running the overwatches. And the more defense you have out of cover, the better, as opposed to will to survive. Yeah, I think corpse spirit. You are a frontline soldier. In fact, you're an assaulting soldier. But I think with lightning reflexes, you just simply want to not get hit. So yes, corpse spirit. Do it. Dante, you leveled up. You finally made it to the elite. Disabling shot. Although, after that mission, <laughs> how many kills did you get that mission? Cleaning up whatever we could see at any given time. You absolutely get disabling shot. It's a shame you can't move and shoot, but yes, disabling shot. And did that give you... You were at 102 aim. That gave you 6 aim. Ooh, how much aim does Snyder have? 111, I think? You might be close to breaking a record. Crimson? Yeah, your perk tree isn't that good. Into the Breach God, no. Semi Vigilance? Uh, no. I think Killer Instinct. Because you do have Run and Gun. And we've seen you Run and Gun with the Sniper Rifle quite a bit. With this, I mean, I'm really not a fan of Killer Instinct unless it's on a Run and Gun Rapid Fire Assault. But what else? Just plus 5 will? For somebody that shoots quite often at range? Or bombards over cover? I think think killer instinct run and gun if you crit with your sniper rifle you'll deal 50% more damage do it yeah this last perk tree isn't very good jumpy legs i guess then then bark did you level up you did you've made it to whatever's down here i can't remember but we'll sort this out in a second so what did we get two sectoid commanders seven heavy floaters six mutant elites four cybers wreck an ethereal even though we heard the sound effects far to the right when he was right in front of us 13 drones and four seekers and no captures that is really annoying as well as 256 illyrium 242 alien alloys 70 weapon fragments 19 meld that is not a lot at all four flight computers and two power sources oof Okay, and we're back. Elatan, you got your office perks back, and I think I'm gonna go for Psy Strike. Psy Strike is good no matter what, whereas Packmaster is good only if you're carrying the grenades and if the situation is suited to those grenades. Well, I say Psy Strike's good no matter what, but obviously it doesn't apply if the enemy doesn't need cover. But regardless, I think, I think that's better. Or grenade. Oh, I don't know. We do have three inventory slots now. You could go scope, grenade, grenade. You know what? We always bring somebody with Psy Strike. Having somebody with Packmaster is rarer. Yes, do Packmaster. Hope I don't regret that. And nearly to wrap rations. Although with an aim of 85. Ugh. Next, Bark. So like all mechs, your tree is a jumbled mess. And because, if I remove, uh, you know, the, the overlay for a second. At Master Sergeant, you've got CCS and extra conditioning. You've already got these perks. So I can't rank you up at Master Sergeant. So what I'm going to do is rank you up again at Gunnery Sergeant. And have that stat increase be your Master Sergeant stat increase. And this will be for damage control, which I think is here. So yeah, repair service is good. But damage control helps you last those really, really tough rounds. So there you go. Happy ammo. In fact, there you go. Damage control right there. <laughs> Here's your stat increase and welcome to Master Sergeant. Your aim didn't increase. Excuse me? Hold on a second, guys. Why didn't your aim increase? Welcome to Master Sergeant. 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 Okay, so Bark's aim didn't increase, but it didn't mean his stats didn't increase. He got plus one health and plus one will. You know what? I, I don't... So, something's wrong here. What I'm going to do, decrease his health and will by one, because that it shouldn't be right. I'm pretty sure the minimum to increase aim when you level up is one, and we didn't get any aim there. Okay, I've removed his CCS and extra conditioning and reset the stats to what they were. I'm absolutely certain that when you level up, you get at least one aim. One is the minimum. I don't know why it didn't work. So let's actually rank up Master Sergeant this time. And what do we get? Okay, yeah. So one aim, one HP, and like four will? Yeah, four will. So that is right. Okay, that is Bark's perk tree sorted out. What pain in the ass. I've now removed the perks I just gave him so we could rank him up. So now he only has the perks from this perk tree. But man, 79 will. Is that a new record? No, it's not. Irinian's is at 76. Well, that's good to know. Okay, well, in terms of fatigue, we're not doing bad. Worst is 10 days. And I guess that is it. Yeah, we're going to double dip some people and go on the crash scout. And Dante, you're actually pretty close. 108 aim compared to Snyder's 112. That is even higher than Gerard and Vincent. So second highest aim, not bad. So yeah, we have got seven hours on the clock for a crashed scout in an urban block. That means it can only be the muked city map. So yeah, we're not going to tick over any time. Uh, this, is, this is it really. We're probably going to double dip, I don't know, Mark maybe? Elatan definitely. Dante as well definitely. Beyond that, I'm tempted to take a bunch of rookies or corporals, but just because it's a crashed scout, although it means there are a few enemies on the map, doesn't mean those enemies are easy. It could be one pod, one double cyber disc and drones and seeker pod. But yeah guys, 
guys, that'll be next time. So, one mission out of three down, and then we'll be on episode 100. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to do close encounters that like button, and type in the comments below, and let us know if they enjoyed the video as well. It really helps out the and I'll see you guys back next time for more XCOM EW Longwall iPads. Stay safe out there, guys. Don't get the C virus, and bye bye for them. Bye bye.